it's working good. Hello. Happy happy International Nurses Day to all the nurses. When you see this nurses, they will be done. However, I'm still expressing or give sending greetings to you. Today, a group of nurses um, are heading over to Saber. It's my first time going to Saber and I'm totally, totally excited. The weather is nice, it's sunny, the water looks calm. So we are hoping for smooth sailing. We, um, yeah. So join me and join us and let's see what we get up to today. Unfortunately, none of the people who are like I'm really close with are with me. I'm, I'm with people who like, I saw them I know and I know their faces. So if you see, it will be more than likely like me alone interacting in the camera or whatever. We're going to do a hike and I'm super excited about that. And I have my shoes on and I have an arm um, tight speed. Like I think one hour to go and one hour to come back. But I guess that they base that on the average speed. If somebody is really, really slow and they're not dressed appropriately, it's probably going to take us longer. I mean, I know fast walker. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like leave a comment and subscribe and my flash is on this is all the people and I think that's the boat we're going in I don't think that my video is going to do justice as to how beautiful Saba is. When we enter, this is like the back side, I would say, and then you have to go around to enter into the port. It's a small island, but the views are majestic, and it is something if you're ever in the Dutch part of the Caribbean, I would recommend you I recommend that you go and visit Saba for the day. When I saw the poster for the flyer for the trip to Sabre, it said spend a day with the unspoiled queen or on the unspoiled queen, I can't remember. However, I thought it was the, like the nurses were calling themselves that. 
didn't realize that Saber is, if you Google it, it is called the unspoiled queen. And I could, I get why they call it the unspoiled unspo queen. It's because of the topography, topography of the island. <laughs> Like pictures don't do it justice. Oh my gosh, pictures don't do it justice here. It's some, it's one of those things that you have to see to um what's the word? Know the beauty. For want of a better word, but it is beautiful. So we are docking. Let me show you what you can see. And we are docking. Welcome to Saber. The sign is right there. My legs are shaking. I'm saying focus. Why is it not focusing? I didn't say this in the video but the boat ride was approximately two hours and we left um st martin kind of late so when we got to say but it was all about half 11 by the time we got to immigration it was almost midday so that's why we couldn't do the hike anymore i don't know if i'm gonna say that in the video another thing i want to say is that the roads in Saber they are really really narrow and i wasn't recording all the time there was a time when the when the, the driver he turned he made it he turned and it was literally like an inch, maybe two inches between him and the wall. And the roads are also, it's mostly a lot of uphills because if you don't know, Saba is a volcano, Dalman volcano. So a lot, it's, it's a lot of going, going uphill. Yes. And then the other thing I wanted to say, because we got there so late, we were not able to do a lot of walking around. So most of the footage that I got was shot from a moving vehicle. I hope you do enjoy it still.
It's like 3 30, 3 15 in the afternoon, and we are heading back. We didn't do the hike, we did some sort of tour, but we didn't get to come out. But it was good. The socialization was great. I, I met a gentleman and we talked. He's um, on some board, a chairperson or something, and we spoke at length. So it was good. And now we have to go back on this dreaded boat to go back to St. Martin. I am going to come back to Sabre to explore Sabre and to do the hike because that was why I, why I came because we got here like half 10 or no almost 11 it was too late to do the hike so I couldn't do the hike so I'm gonna come back to do that uh, we've come to the end I don't know if I'm gonna record anything else if not I hope you like this um, comment you know subscribe give me a thumbs up something something interact with me and I'll show you a bit of going back over People were vomiting coming over and then they came here and they were drinking a lot and eating a lot and I, I know it's gonna be a mess. A lady was kind enough to give me medication, a tablet, so I took that. I think I'll be good. I am hungry, but I don't wanna vomit, so I wait until I get home to eat and I'm very thirsty as well. Yeah, so that's it. And the, the water is lovely, it's really sunny, sunny and bright. We spotted dolphins and a lot of dolphins and by the time I scrambled to record the show was done and for me that kind of topped it off in spite of not getting to hike seeing dolphins made the trip worthwhile for me and I need to say this also the ride coming back on the boat was fairly fairly smooth it was so much easier coming back than going